Hey, welcome back to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm Karen. Today's reading is their thoughts of you today and also how are they feeling about you right now. Please take a moment to hit the like button and the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and that way you'll be notified every time I release a new reading. So there's four charms or objects for you to choose from today. Set of cards number one is the dice. Set of cards number two is the baby bottle. Set of cards number three is the ginger kitten. And set of cards number four is the crown ring. So take some time to tune into the energies of these. See which one resonates with you the most. It's fine to be drawn to more than one of these as well. You can pause the video right now if you need to. And then we'll get straight into the reading. Welcome to set of cards number one. You've chosen the dice. So this is your person's thoughts of you today and also how are they feeling about you right now. Please take a moment to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell and that way you'll be notified every time I release a new reading. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please check out the Love Message Cards personal readings. Those are very in-depth video readings. They look really deeply into lots of different messages cards. I interpret all of the energies coming through from your person as we dive deeply into their true feelings for you right now, what their higher self wants you to know, what their 3D self would say to you if they could, and what your person really wants to happen between you both. So those are very in-depth personal video readings. The details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So let's get straight into looking really deeply into your person's thoughts of you today and how they are feeling. We're going to look into lots of different messages cards. Lots of messages will come through. We're starting off with, I can't get enough of you. So they're thinking about you constantly today. They're feeling all this desire. They're going into their heart. They're having all these fantasies. They're feeling that closeness. They imagine being intimate with you and close with you on all different levels. They can't get enough of you. They feel so high thinking about you today and feeling so amazing, feeling so grateful and lucky to have this powerful union with you. What else are they thinking? Yeah, look, I treasure our sacred connection. They treasure this. They treasure this experience. This is a divine love. This is like a precious jewel to them. They really cherish you. They treasure and love how close and intimate they feel with you. It's like they open their chest to you. They open their heart to you. Your person's going inwards. All of these jewels here, it's almost like all the memories, all the experiences, everything, all the abundance that you have together. It's like they're going inwards. And it's almost like there's a mirror here as well. They're doing a lot of... Um, inner reflection and um, they see you as mirrors of each other um, it's like they're just really reflecting on your connection right now and th and thinking about experiencing all of the uh, amazing um, abundance they have um, it's very precious it's you know it's making me think of gold and like gemstones like precious jewels <laughs> like um Precious sacred love. What else are they thinking today and feeling? Let's get closer. So your person, they are going inwards. They're getting closer to you. They may feel as though this is like their inner, like private world in their private heart space because again we have the chest. It's normally got a lock on it. It's normally closed up, but they're going inwards. Um, and opening up, reflecting inwards to feel closer with you. They want to get closer to you in this connection. They feel like there's this powerful magnetism drawing you both closer. But they just love really thinking about you, fantasizing, reminiscing. It makes them feel amazing. It makes them feel a lot of desire. Yeah, look, you are my dream come true. So this is why they're thinking and daydreaming about you all the time, really connecting with you. 
feeling that oneness in the heart space energetically telepathically you are this person's dream come true you are this treasure that's come into their life they adore you they adore your connection they feel like the luckiest person at the bottom of the deck i'm seeing i wake up feeling happy this person feels so happy um so joyous this connection is so deeply fulfilling they see you as their soulmate or their twin flame what else are they thinking today so your person woke up feeling happy i feel but there is some anxieties here what are you thinking right now so this person they have some insecurities coming up they're worried about you falling out of love with them or they're worried about you um seeing them in a bad light we have i love you so fucking much at the bottom of the deck so let's look at some charms i'm feeling drawn to look at some charms today sorry about the noise of them Okay, so this crown ring wanted to come out. I know this was one of the other options, so that may be saying to look at, I can't remember what set of cards it was, um, the crown option. We have the crown. We have I love you. We have the hermit's lantern, so going inwards a lot. We have the church. And we have the anchor. So, the crown, this is like how precious they find this connection to be, okay? With the treasure chest here, all the jewels, the gold, the gemstones, and then the crown, you make them feel like life is precious. This is a sacred union. They, It's incredibly special to this person. You make them have intense awakening. They feel like this is like the ultimate love. They feel like it's um, true love, like what true love feels like. They, they know that they're really like experiencing that. And they feel like you put this crown on their head. It's like they feel honored that you feel this deep love for them and you share this profound experience together. They feel like um, they are discovering their true soul self. And this is, they feel as though that, um, the universe, the soul family is placing this crown on their head. They feel very successful. They're knowing their worth. They know in how loved they truly are by you, by the soul family, by God through this connection. They really, really treasure it. They deeply love you. They love you so much. That was at the bottom of the deck as well. So we have the hermit energy. This is the lantern of light. It's awakening. They're following this inner light. They feel a lot of guidance in this connection. Again, it's deeply spiritual, especially with the church here as well. This is a powerful spiritual awakening. They, they love how spiritual this feels. Your person is constantly and today as well, like just going inwards. Your person could be an introvert. They could be a hermit, but they've always been very deeply connected with the divine, like internally, especially. Um, and they just love going inwards and feeling so connected to the infinite and to true love and the truth beyond this earth, which is full of illusions. So we have the ship's helm and the anchor here. So the ship is, you know, it goes on the ocean. The ocean is the depths of those emotions and throwing like the anchor in it's like your person's diving deep into the ocean it's like you anchor them into truth this connection sort of drives them into their emotions so feeling deeply moved very like emotional but a lot of positive emotions but there are some fears like i said about what you're thinking what you're feeling they just don't want to lose this connection not only with you, but with the divine, okay? They feel like it's their truth. They feel like through this connection, they know how loved they are by God and the universe. So it's kind of like if if they lost you, they kind of feel like 
And maybe that would be the universe rejecting them. And that would be a very like a terrible experience. So let's look deeper into your person's true or their thoughts for you right now and what they feeling. Sorry, I'm just looking at all these different decks, wondering which one to look at next. Different messages, cards. I'm coming to you quickly. So this is the Eight of Wands. So energetically, in the place of the infinite, with the Eight being the infinity symbol, their energies are racing towards you. In some cases, this could be like a sexual reference as well. I can't get enough of you or that desire. But um, for the most part, or overall, this is just like their energies racing towards you. You're, you're both doing that. It's the infinity symbol. You're mirrors of each other. You are my perfect person, the two of cups. So this is why they treasure you and this sacred connection. It feels so divine. If they know that you are soulmates or they could know the twin flame label. This two of cups normally shows divine masculine and feminine. Their cups together, looking into each other's eyes. There's a closeness there. This is like that heart union. This is you being on the same page. You both feel in the same way. And um, in the traditional tarot, it shows the divine masculine reaching out, touching the feminine's cup, okay? This person, they want to reach out to your heart. They want to express their feelings to you. They want to feel close with you. They do feel close with you. You are their perfect person. We have, I'm much more secure in myself. So they feel a lot of gratitude and this is all about that crown energy um, that I was picking up on. Um, it's This connection has provided them with a lot of self-love, self-confidence. It really heightens their self-esteem and it, it feels wonderful. It makes them feel like a million dollars, okay? So all these jewels here, the precious like treasure, they feel precious. They they feel precious to you. They feel cherished by you. And that makes them feel deeply loved. There's just like, like a wholesome feeling. They feel whole. This wholeness. They feel wholesome. They feel so nourished, healed. Like a feeling of completion um, on the soul level. This connection really fills, fills them up with peace. I want to give you everything, the Six of Pentacles. So they feel so much abundance. It's like their heart is overflowing with this love and this joy and feeling so uplifted, so amazing that it's overflowing. They want to give you everything. They want to um, make you feel happy, make you feel loved, cherished, adored. They want you to know how much they love you and that you are their dream come true. We have, I'm scared of the unknown. And this is going underneath. What are you thinking right now? So they're feeling some sort of subconscious fears coming up. This is the moon card. This is like the shadows, uh, anxieties, which typically do come up in these intense connections. So let's get some clarifiers about these fears. What are they fearing exactly? fearing the wheel of fortune so this is like the karmic wheel they feel like there's destiny in your connection but that's like karma it is the fears just coming up that naturally do death they fear that there's a death in this connection, like there'll be some sort of ending, but it's also they, they fear like this ego death. This is like a transformation coming out of the karmic wheel and having a rebirth of their soul that creates a lot of upheaval. Um, so they could be in fear quite a bit and then they're worried about what you think of them when they're in their fear. King of Swords. 
like maybe sometimes they can yeah look we have the two of pentacles as well like they're juggling a lot of things they can be feeling emotional or over the place at times and then the king of swords it's like uh, maybe they can sometimes come across with like this poker face or they can come across as being cold like I feel like they're just fearful of what you're thinking how you're feeling so sometimes they're maybe a little bit afraid of wearing their heart on their sleeve so they're coming across as sort of cold but you know deep down within their heart there's all this passion there's all this desire there's all this deep profound love so what else are their thoughts of you today and their feelings? Yeah, look, wow, this confirms it. Abandonment, fears, fear of loss, fear of unrequited love, fear of being left. They, these feelings of unworthiness come up within your person. Um, it's the separation illusion. They're seeking reassurance. They want to know how you feel. They're holding on to you. So, yeah, abandonment fears coming up. What else are they thinking today and feeling? Ascension. So your person, they, they, when they think of you, it's like they rise up into the fifth dimension. They feel you are always together in the higher realms. It feels like going home. Ascending to the fifth dimension, soul growth, raising vibration, purification, true soul self, releasing karma. So overall, um, when your person's feeling secure, they're in the heart space, they're in that faith, they're feeling very confident about this connection. It's like they're rising up um, in ascension, in, in consciousness and feeling more faith, um, awakening very deeply. It feels like heaven on earth. These are like the gates of heaven as well. It feels like heaven on earth, okay? They feel so connected to God, the divine, the soul family. They fear being abandoned by all of all of you, you know, you and the soul family. Your person's deeply moved by your connection, okay? They are feeling this euphoria today. They are deeply connecting with the reality you know this isn't just conceptual thoughts and understandings they are literally immersed in the higher realms and they're feeling deeply moved your person is feeling profound gratitude today and amazement and delight and wonderment they're in complete awe they feel excited they feel so much relief this is like this connection, it's that heaven on earth, it's that relief, it's that peace. They feel joy. They feel like you are an answered prayer. It's interesting. We have the gates of heaven here. It's like their soul was calling you in. Your Their soul was wanting um, to meet their soulmate and have this profound experience. So their soul was calling you in and they feel like this union is like their answered prayer. But also this is like, praying to God for or just really really not wanting to feel abandoned not wanting to feel or experience rejection <clears throat> alienated so I feel like there are some definite fears coming up it leads them to feel alienated. It feel they're feeling some sort of separation with you right now, but also this is them feeling uprooted from the three D. Like this connection, it's all about this ascension, this awakening. So they're seeing beyond social matrix and their old version of self, like the false self, and they just feel like they've they're suddenly floating above the earth, seeing everything even more so from a higher perspective. And it's kind of making them feel a bit or, or even more like lonely in the 3D. There's abandonment fears coming up in their 3D life as well. They're scared of the unknown. Um, so feeling misunderstood in their life. But with you, they feel like that you deeply understand them. But there could be, a f with all these fears that come up, it creates clouds of illusions and it sort of blocks out the truth and the intuition and the feelings of oneness and 
creates doubt. So they could be feeling like there's some sort of energetic disconnect at this time and feeling lonely. They're feeling like they're not fitting in even more so on this earth plane. They're caught between two dimensions, the 3D and a 5D. Their soul self is awakening and they do feel closer to spirit. They do feel closer to you overall, like that sense of belonging. They feel like you have deep understanding of each other because you've both kind of felt like aliens on this world. Like you don't, you felt like you don't really come from here. And they felt lonely, they felt lost, and then they feel like they found you, they found the treasure, they found like, like what they were searching for. It's like their soul, I'm seeing like a treasure map, their soul had this plan, this map, where they were going to find you, you are going to find each other. And, you know, they, they feel like you finally reconciled, you found uh, the, like the Holy Grail. What else are their thoughts of you today? Study mates. So your person knows that you have lessons that you are learning together. You are learning from each other. Um, they feel like you made this agreement in the, the fifth dimension to come to this earth school and play out these different roles and experiences to develop your, your souls. They know that you activated each other. You came into each other's lives to activate the remembrance of your true soul selves and this mission and these lessons. They, they feel there's this soul agreement, soul contract. A lot of wisdom's coming in. They're becoming aware of this spiritual mission and they know that you're ascension soulmates. They know that you're helping each other to ascend, to awaken. So if you would like a personal reading where we look even more in depth into your specific person, please check out the Love Message Cards personal readings. Those are very in-depth video readings. I look into all the different uh, messages cards and I interpret the energies coming through from your person as we dive very deeply into your person's true feelings for you right now, what their higher self wants you to know, what their 5D sorry, what their 3D self would say to you if they could, and also what your person really wants to happen between you both. So those are very in-depth personal video readings. The details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. If this reading has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write comment, share it and subscribe. That all really helps me out. Thank you so much for joining me here. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number two. You've chosen the baby bottle charm. So this is your person's thoughts of you today and also how are they feeling about you right now. Please take a moment to hit the like button and the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and that way you'll be notified every time I release a new reading. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please check out the Love Message Cards personal readings. Those are very in-depth video readings. We look into lots of different messages cards. I interpret all of the energies coming through from your person as we dive deeply into looking at your person's true feelings for you right now, what their higher self wants you to know, what their 3D self would say to you if they could, and what this person really wants to happen between you both. So the details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So let's get straight into looking really deeply into your person's thoughts of you today and also how are they feeling about you right now. We're going to be looking into lots of different messages cards from different decks. So a lot is going to come through in your reading. Their thoughts of you today and how they are feeling right now. I'm so drawn to you. This is powerful magnetism. Like your person can't stop thinking about you. They can't it's like it it just feels natural for them to be so drawn to thinking of you, connecting with you energetically. They want you to know that they felt this upon meeting you, that it just felt powerful. It felt um uh, it just felt so right. Like you and this union, it just feels so right. It feels comforting, it feels like this intense warmth, this intense excitement, and they really feel this energetic pull towards you so they're thinking about you so much today i 
I'm planting the seeds in our union. I'm hearing from spirit here that this person's thinking about you so much that this is something to do with like the law of attraction here. Um, whatever you focus on uh, expands in your life. So this person's planting a lot of seeds in terms of they're thinking about you all the time. They imagine this intimacy. They imagine this closeness and the simple act of, I feel like you're both thinking about each other so powerfully. It's really, really connecting you in the fifth dimension. I also feel like this person is actively trying to do the healing work and plant these positive seeds, these healing seeds, planting love the seeds of love, they're wanting growth, uh, they feel so much growth, um, they're wanting healing. I feel nervous around you. So you give this person butterflies in their stomach, you make this person's heart race at the bottom of the deck i'm noticing i need some reassurance right now so yeah nervousness um these connections typically bring up all the aspects of ourselves that we feel self-conscious about so your person can feel very self-conscious in your presence maybe you've seen this person today and they you you've witnessed or you've felt their nerves um in other cases, sometimes maybe this person avoids you a little bit because they feel really nervous and um, it, it sort of makes them feel a bit embarrassed. So, or it could be, you know, they have like this poker face on, um, could be mirrored energy. Um, for some of you, it's like um, they have this poker face on or that it's like they they, they want to appear to be... Um, sort of stable and cool, calm, collected in that moment, but in inside their heart is like racing. And I was doing that. It's like this mind chatter. It's like in in the in the moments where you see each other, your person can feel kind of paralyzed with these thoughts, like oh my god, like these what what's this person thinking in this moment? I'm feeling very self conscious. That's definitely coming up. Um, and I feel it's because they think about you so much when you're apart. Again, I feel like this is mirrored energy. There could be nervousness because you think about each other so much. And then in those moments where you see each other, it's just so like intense. What else are they thinking? You are with me always. So in the heart, yeah. They feel this oneness. At the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing, our, I feel our souls mating. For some of you, you're really experiencing this tantric sexual union. You are with me always. Wherever this person's going and whatever they're doing in their life, you are always in their heart. You're always in their mind. They're always drawn into thinking of you. They feel um, that infinite bond with you. We have, it scares me how deeply you see into me, but I love it, okay? This is what I was picking up on. You're always with me, you know, this person's always thinking of you. They're always feeling you are one. They feel the intensity of this connection. They feel, it's like, it's like you carry each other around wherever you go and you're, you're constantly having these conversations, like telepathically, energetically, you're feeling how each other's feeling, um, a lot of the time you'll know what each other's thinking, all this kind of thing. And then it's like they see you um, in a 3D sometimes. And then it's like, <gasps> it is so intense. It's like, it scares them. It makes them feel nervous and self-conscious, but they absolutely love it. And this is speaking even more like generally, if you don't see each other in the 3D, you still see into this person very deeply. And it, it scares their ego, but their heart and soul loves it. They feel so connected. They feel so understood by you. So I'm feeling drawn to look at some charms. And then we'll look at some more message cards as well. So sorry about the noise of these charms. What their thoughts of you today and their feelings... Okay. 
Okay, so two rings have come out. We had I Feel Our Souls Mating card. It was at the bottom of the deck, which showed the two rings like this. Okay, so this ring to me represents um, deep, like romantic feelings. Your person feels romantic feelings, like these traditional feelings. They feel like they can be like their traditional divine masculine. This is someone that's very romantic. They feel like this connection allows them to feel all of this romance, explore this romance, imagine, but also connect with you. Like the your connection, it does feel like very romantic. You know, a lot of these, I'm just trying to get to focus, a lot of the most like powerful love stories are the ones where there's like complications or there's a love that cannot fully be sort of fulfilled kind of thing um, in, in a certain way. They're feeling very deeply romantic, passionate feelings for you. It's like it represents tradition. Like I feel like your person's very traditional in many ways. We have this ring here as well, which is the opal ring. So this is talking about the divine. It feels very divine. This love, this like this divine bond, this divine union. They feel so close to spirit. It feels angelic. It feels amazing. A lot of purity. It's like a pure, unconditional love. We have Harry Potter, which is very interesting. This could be specifically resonating for some. They may be like a Harry Potter fan, or you may be. Um, this is also um, really saying to me about magic. This is like the school of magic. This is Hogwarts. Um, so it's like your per person believes in like magic. They believe in like spirituality. This connection feels very poetic. They feel as though you're both. I'm hearing like this is like living out their dream. Like your person believes in magic and um, psychic abilities and mystical, magical kind of things. And they feel like they can really explore this in your divine union. It's very magical. They feel like their spiritual gifts, their inner magic is like coming to life. They're able to express this, live this out, experience this. Feels amazing. And today, they, they're just really feeling all this peace here, the dove of peace. You bring them so much peace, so much joy, so much purity. Again, it's like that divine, sacred love. So let's look at some more messages, cards. What their thoughts of you today? I lay awake at night worrying about us. So anxieties, fears coming up. So let's dive deeper into what are these fears? Hmm. What are these fears that are coming up? We have innocent. I feel like this person may fear kind of like hurting you. They, they see you as this innocence. They see you as this purity. Sorry, it's not focusing automatically. And the dove of peace. They see you as very innocent. They lay awake at night worrying. Um, they, I do feel like they may worry that they're hurting you or they've hurt you. Or when their fears come up, they may, you know, perhaps do certain things like reactions based on fear um, and they're hoping that you know they're innocent um, this is pure heart in the right place naive childlike pure intentions inexperienced mean well you can trust them okay I feel like this person they're just very anxious this is someone that is very pure in their heart they're a very giving loving person they feel very deeply but they can just in general suffer with quite a lot of anxiety, maybe nervousness, some insecurities. What else are they thinking today and feeling? 
let's heal this okay so these worries a lot of these worries are that <coughs> wanting to heal your connection so these twin flame and divine soul connections are all about healing all about coming back to the true soul self healing releasing the false self the conditioning the illusions the wounds fears of separation and abandonment your person wants to heal the connection six of swords is moving out of adversity into a brighter future so there could be something that's happened recently and they're fearful that it's um created a disconnect or it's created turbulence or pain or some sort of separation within you both they're worrying about this they want to heal this they want to come back into balance harmony peace deeper levels of union yeah look we have please don't leave me the eight of cups so this confirms it their worries they're fearful of you walking away from them they're fearful of you thinking they're not good enough for you this is why they feel nervous sometimes and it scares that you see deeply into them. This is the like typical uh, ego fears and self-consciousness and insecurities where we all feel like we're not good enough. And this is really coming up in your person. Um, that may be why they were like the... Um, I think that was in the other set of cards actually. Or was it in this one? I was going to say that maybe why they're, they're coming across as the king of swords. Um, they may come across as sort of poker face or cold or it's like they're just trying to come across as calm, cool, collective because they're feeling really nervous. They're feeling these insecurities coming up. This person may feel like they're not good enough for you. These are, you know, the typical fears that come up in these connections. What else are they thinking and feeling today? I have to stand my ground. Yeah, this is what I was just talking about. That's like that poker face. That is like um, subconscious. This happens on a really subconscious level. When nerves come up, paranoia, self-consciousness, fears of rejection, abandonment come up. It does create like a protective barrier. You know, this isn't something to get annoyed with your person about. This is like an instinct. It's like the mind programming. We all have this instinct. We're all on a journey to release that and open the heart further. Let's start all over again. So they want a new beginning with you. They want, this is the Ace of Cups, they want that heart union, they want you to be in harmony where there's so much joy and your hearts are overflowing with this love. They want um, your connection to continue moving forward, they're wanting deeper levels of union with you. So what else are they thinking and feeling? They're doing a lot of inner reflection today with this mirror card and they feel you are reflections of each other. This is really good. This is basically saying your person's doing a lot of introspection and a lot of wisdom and clarity is coming in and this is leading to transformations, um, releasing the shadow side overall. Love call. So I feel this is like they want to hear some sort of reassurance from you. Getting in touch, expressing love, telling you their feelings, missing you and reaching out. This is like they want to hear from you. They want to know that you still love them. They want to feel this reassurance. Because they're looking, they're looking in the mirror like... Um, you know, I'm just imagining someone looking in the mirror, you know, when you're sort of lost in deep thoughts and... There's a feeling of anxiety. I'm just seeing, you know, like in the movies and stuff where they look in the mirror and they're, it's like they're feeling, they're feeling all this anxiety about something in their life. They're wanting that reassurance. The thoughts of you today, butterfly. So yeah, this is all the transformation that's going on. They want a positive transformation of this relationship with you. We had let's heal this. They want a freedom from blocks. Wisdom is coming in, growth, strength, being more of their true self, okay? I feel like they have anxieties perhaps sometimes about um, wanting to be more 
authentic, wanting to be more of their true self. But there's karma. This is karmic in some cases that could be relevant. Maybe they have a karmic partner um, or just karmic situations or karma in general. So it's like your your person feels like the butterfly kind of caught up in a chrysalis somewhat. Tough lessons, codependency, comfort zone, temptation, not being true to self, avoiding shadow work, stuck and depressed. So I feel like your person's sort of oscillating between doing the healing work and transforming. Like overall they are transforming, but again it, it's very normal for there to be karma to be worked through okay this these connections are not about us all just clicking our fingers and suddenly you know we're healed and released from a lifelong um conditioning in our mind um with all these subconscious fears wounds blocks illusions etc so feel like your person's worried about you like judging them or you're seeing them in a bad light when their fears come up they want you to know their innocence and that they love you so deeply this person is obsessed with you they're feeling this obsession today they're fixated passionate they can't stop thinking about you they're feeling all this sexual tension, burning desires, fascination. In some cases, they could be spying on you in some kind of way, either in the 3D or online. So what else are their thoughts of you today and their feelings? You mean the world to me. So yeah. You're very precious. You mean the world to them. They're fearful of losing that. This is true love. So yeah, they feel as though they experience, like they really know what true love is now. It's this deep, profound, infinite love. Higher dimensional love. Thoughts and feelings today. It's worth it. Interesting that's going over the top of butterfly transformation and feeling nervous and fears coming up. They feel like going through the intensity and the fears and um, the challenges of these divine unions of ascension is worth it, okay? This person is putting in the work to heal. They see and the benefits of it, really feeling that. They're feeling much more liberated. We have you're the one. Interestingly, that's going over the top of the karmic or karma card. But they feel like you, you are the one. You are like that, that true love. And we have help me. So yeah, I feel like your person's really struggling feeling caught between 3D and 5D or false self and, and true self. So let's just look at a couple more cards. The thoughts of you today and their feelings. Deeply moved. The person feels incredibly moved by your connection. They have profound gratitude towards you and the divine for bringing you both together. They're in amazement. Today they feel a delight and wonder, wonderment. They're in complete awe. They do feel this excitement, relief, joy, answered prayer. They feel like you are this answered prayer. They're soulmate and flowing unity and, con and confidence. Okay, so overall they do feel a lot of confidence, this connection, and you really help them to have that confidence, that self-love, that self-worth, feeling deeply loved. Um, you know, this is someone that has a lot of goals, um, is very successful, they're very goal-like oriented in their life in general, but they have a lot of goals and dreams for deeper levels of like union and healing, and they they feel like 
that they know that they are a success, they're succeeding, they're feeling more confident, they're feeling freer or more liberated from a lot of densities, fears and blocks. They're having a lot more self-belief and courage. They feel very, very supported by you. They feel unstoppable when they're so connected with you. They feel secure when they, they connect with you in the heart space rather than their fearful mind. And today I do feel like they're going to come back into feeling deeply moved and confident within your connection. They are going to come back into this flowing unity, which means your energies as one, your energies being harmo harmonious. There's powerful telepathic communication going on today. And they are going to come back to feeling like you are on the same page. And there's this high vibration between you both. Unity, consciousness, soul, intimacy, and they're feeling euphoria because of all of this today. So if you want to look even more deeply into your specific person, please check out the Love Message Cards personal readings. They're very in-depth video readings where we look into all the different types of messages cards. I interpret all of the energies coming through from your person as we dive deeply into their true feelings for you right now, what their higher self wants you to know, what their 3D self would say to you if they could, and what your person really wants to happen between you both. So those are very in-depth personal personal video readings. The details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. Thank you so much for joining me here. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number three. You've chosen the kitten. So this is your person's thoughts of you today and also how are they really feeling about you right now? Please take a moment to hit the like button and the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and that way you'll be notified every time I release a new reading. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please check out the Love Message Cards personal readings. Those are very in-depth video readings. We look into lots of different messages cards. I interpret all of the energies coming through from your person as we dive deeply into their true feelings for you right now, what your person's higher self wants you to know, what their 3D self would say to you if they could, and also what your person really wants to happen between you both. So those are very powerful and in-depth personal video readings. The details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So let's get straight into looking really deeply into your person's thoughts of you today and also how are they feeling about you right now. Let's get closer. Your person desires deeper intimacy, deeper closeness, that feeling of euphoria, that feeling of divine comfort and healing to feel at one with you. I feel this magnetism. I feel like this is like a warm, like fuzzy feeling. <laughs> like they're really desiring to feel that warm, fuzzy comfort of this is someone that really feels that you are with them always and vice versa. You're with each other always in that heart space, in the energy. They feel you in their aura. They know like your aura is one. Let's get closer. They're thinking, I feel so close to you right now. This is what they're desiring. Wow. They want to get closer. This is it overall as well. It just said 111 on the camera as well. Um, they are wanting deeper levels of union. They're wanting deeper levels of intimacy. They can't get enough of this. Many of you are feeling this on the higher realms. Wow. Wanting to be closer, feeling the closeness, feeling the bliss, harmony. This is their desires today. I feel like they may be missing you very deeply. I don't feel lonely anymore. Wow. So yeah, your person's missing you. They could be feeling somewhat lonely today, but then I feel as though they are getting closer to you. They're connecting in the infinite realm, in the heart space, and then they don't feel lonely anymore. They, they're they really thinking about or just feeling that bliss of um, having met you and in this lifetime and having this really amazing 
um, union, this amazing experience. They just feel this sense of belonging. They feel this oneness, that this wholeness. It's very wholesome. And it's it just feels incredible. But yeah, I do also feel like for some, they're feeling lonely today. I get this feeling like your person may be busy. They may be doing a lot of things today. And you know how, you know, you can spend the whole day being so busy, being surrounded by like a lot of people. That by the end of the day, you can feel kind of burnt out. You can feel that sort of sense of uneasiness because you've been disconnected with your true self. This is someone that needs to... Um, consistently go inwards to reconnect with themselves restore their energy and in the in this time of feeling like they're busy or they're surrounded with a lot of people or doing a lot of things today they feel like by the end of the day or as the end of the day is drawing near they're feeling like they're missing you they're feeling that loneliness um, there may be a lot of distractions sort of going on in your person's day-to-day -day life right now, but they long, um, they're always longing to feel so close to you. I feel like normally they have like a lot of time, like alone time or time where they can really feel constantly sort of connected with you, like their focus is on that a lot more than perhaps it is today. But I feel like by the end of the day, or some aspects of some time during today, um, they are going to connect very deeply, have that alone time, feel that closeness, feel that bliss, feel like it's like going home to a warm bath or going home and like being able to take your shoes off <laughs> after being on your feet all day. It's that kind of feeling, that feeling of comfort and safety and security and intimacy. <coughs> My life is completely changed. So they're feeling this powerful inner compass. This is like their soul, their heart. This is that, like that magnetism. Um, they feel magnetized back home. Their life has completely changed. Like intense awakening has happened. Your person is actively diving so much more deeply into their inner world, their internal world. That's like the universe inside them. Um, it is like the universe. There's no separation. It's not like separately in different individuals. It is the universe, but they're finding um, a deep connect with that through going inwards. So they're reflecting on how their life has completely changed. There's all these light bulbs moments i've just realized something this is like awakening the light's been turned on okay but let's look deeper into what has this person just realized i have so much fear they could have realized you are their twin flame or you are their soulmate if they don't know the twin flame label what else have they realized or realizing today that they need you. What else are they realizing today? What does she think of me? So your person, they may be realizing that you are twin flames, okay? I feel like Today, they could have some fears about what you think of them, fears of abandonment, loss, separation, all the typical fears that come up in Twin Flame Connections. But they may be realizing, it's like the light coming on again, they're realizing that this is a Twin Flame Connection, that they can have faith, it's an infinite soul bond, it's an unconditional love. They're realizing that it's just the triggers coming up um, and needing you. It's like... Uh, in some cases, they're going to feel your energy coming through today. They're going to feel energetically like they'll be doing something in, the, in their day-to-day -day life or even in a time of stillness when they're thinking of you, suddenly they're going to feel that oneness. 
that you're both reaching out or they could feel like you're reaching out energetically and then it's going to ease their fears they're going to the truth of this union is going to flood back into them this infinite bond this infinity symbols here needing support scared stressed needing comfort safe sanctuary reassured inner guidance teamwork reaching out and strength so yeah i feel like they're coming out of their fears somewhat at some point during today because they're going to feel deeply connected with you again and it's going to make them realize that, that it's just illusions of separation so <clears throat> let's look into some different message cards their thoughts of you today you are my perfect person so two of cups this is also an energy of closeness um this normally shows the divine masculine and feminine with their cups touching they're looking into each other's eyes they're very close this is that heart union again you are their perfect person they could be reaching out to you on the heart level today. Traditionally, the two cups show the divine masculine reaching out, touching the feminine's cup or the feminine's heart. So reaching out. It could be you both reaching out energetically. Please remain open to me. This is the queen of cups. So yeah, they have a fear of you closing down. Queen of Cups, again, it's the heart. They want you to have an open heart. They're reaching out. They're needing you. They want you to be open, receptive, because traditionally the Queen of Cups is the only um, Cups card where there's a lid on the cup. So they may fear that you're going to have this alone time and you're going to be thinking about this connection and you're going to be thinking that it's time for you to move on. They have fears of that. They want you to stay and remain open to them and to this union. Um, they want you to continue connecting. They want this this union to continue. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. We have the tower. It's all falling apart. They have fears of that happening. I have to stand my ground. So this normally shows the person on the higher ground with one wand and then the six ones trying to knock this person off their feet. So this could be their fears. They're feeling unstable. It's like they're trying to fight off these fears. They're trying to stand their ground, be stable, be secure. They find that you offer them a lot of stability and security and comfort and reassurance. They're reaching out to you for most of you through the heart space in order to have that reassurance i love how you nurture me so yeah they're wanting you to nurture them they're wanting you to be there for them and provide this comfort this stability they see you as like the compass they see you as like guiding them like your strength your stability your clarity of insight they see you as someone that's really good at navigating this intense journey and these this twin flame union so they look to you for direction okay so they love how you are like their rock you are like this guiding force you help them become conscious you turn on all these light bulbs in times where they may not be able to see things clearly let's start all over again this is the eight of so the ace of cups they want a new beginning in your connection they want that oneness in the heart the one heart okay the heart overflowing the peace i feel like your person could be going through a cycle today like fears and then they're feeling reassured again so then their heart's open again the lights come on it's starting all over again then coming back into the heart having that faith so what else are their thoughts of you today i'm always thinking about you so they're thinking their thoughts are constant about you today how you are their perfect person how they feel so close to you they're just really really enjoying like this union they're really like enjoying the experience i feel like they're trying to experience it as much as they can like every day or like all the time 
and finishing old cycles. So yeah. Um, I feel again, this is like the, the fears coming out, like the coming out of that cycle, the coming into faith, but more generally speaking, this is them saying to you that they are releasing a lot of illusions, a lot of fears, a lot of wounds. It's okay, don't worry. This is what they are, are needing from you. They're wanting this reassurance. It's okay, don't worry. I don't feel lonely anymore. They have you fascinate me. So this person, they feel deeply inspired by you. It's like they wanna know everything about you. They just want to feel so close. They just want to know you inside and out. You know, they don't want any sense of separation. So they, they want to know everything to feel so connected with you. We have, what will they think? So your person's suffering with some fears about what other people will think of them. So this this journey, this union is like bringing up uh, like their true self. I feel like your person has fears about just being completely their true self in their life because other people won't like that or other people could get hurt or this could be someone that's in the spiritual closet <laughs> And they're fearful of people just thinking they've gone mad and gone crazy sort of thing. If they were to admit this spiritual truth, this spiritual awakening that they are going through. So what else are their thoughts of you today? Vulnerability. Yeah, your person feels like they open their heart to you in the higher realms, okay? They connect with you in the heart space. This connection represents liberation for them. They can go into their internal world because um, normally in their day-to-day -day life, they have all these walls around their heart. It's sort of boxed up. Their true inner self is sort of hidden, put on the shelf sort of thing. But then they're having all this alone time where they feel safe to really feel this true, like divine love. It's very liberating. They feel like they can be vulnerable. So this is someone that it's like when they go home, they go into their own room, they go into the, a private place, um, they relax, they feel like they can take their masks and their walls and the full self that we all wear in our day-to-day -day lives, they can take that all off and just dive deeply into their true self, into their heart, which is where you are and the divine they feel like they're just who they really are when they're connecting with you on that heart level opening the heart feels like a surrender they feel like they can let go of fears when they're on on their own in that alone time and they're connecting with you this is dissolving the ego overall express this person's expressing their true feelings through their heart this is the being authentic. This is their authentic self. This person desires desires like more vulnerability. They want you to express your vulnerability, your heart, uh, your heart. You know, please remain open to me. Soul family. They know you are soul family. They recognize you from the higher realms and maybe even past lives. This talks about origins, sense of belonging. They feel so loved by you and the soul family. They, they know this is a connection that's bringing you all back together. Uh, this divine support unconditional love they feel peace celebration guidance feel deeply understood this all feels like home you feel like home they go home like they may literally go home and then they go home to the higher realms when they're in the privacy of their own home or when they have that alone time yeah look heart union your one heart, 
your hearts have merged, they are one. This is a stargate. The, the heart is the gateway into the higher realms. It's a safe sanctuary, okay? Your person feels so weighed down in life, like pretty much everyone does, wearing these thick walls, thick masks, spending or expending all this time and energy, expending a lot of energy, upholding some sort of front, subconsciously having the barriers up to stop absorbing so many other people's energies. This is someone that's deeply empathic, highly sensitive being, they're deeply psychic, empath. So they spend a lot of their day-to-day -day life with these thick walls trying to protect themselves energetically and because of fears of being the true self because of the whole social, social matrix conditioning. So they really let their hair down. They really, it's like they, they go home or they have this alone time and they really feel like, <sighs> like it's this sigh of relief and they're as one with you in their heart. It's a safe sanctuary, a portal to the higher dimensions. It feels blissful to feel this oneness, to feel this truth, to be free to just be who they are and feel how they really feel and not need to hide anything um, when they're in that alone time. It takes them to the infinite. They feel held by you, by the soul family, by this one heart. This is like your heart chakra, the aura around you. It's like this safe bubble of protection. It's like this force field. They feel held. It's a soul family gateway, the gateway to the soul family. So they're doing this today, okay? They're having some sort of alone time at some point, feeling somewhat weighed down because they. I feel like they're busy today or they're doing a lot of things, um, surrounded by a lot of people. But yeah, they're having this time of introspection, going inwards. Seeking answers, intuition, sometimes they're overthinking, revelations are coming through though, awakening, discovering things, unearthing things that need to be healed, released. But yeah, again, this is like they're, they're really thinking about you, okay? <clears throat> sexual union, so they're having sexual thoughts. There is this heart space and tantric union. This is like your soul's mating. This is like the merging of the divine masculine and the feminine in the higher realms. Energetic union. It's transcendental. It fills them with excitement. It fills them with energy and um, electricity and intimacy. So, yeah, fantasies. It says heart on. That's feeling turned on by feelings of intense love. And merging chakras. So, yeah. There's definitely a feeling of um, oneness, your soul's merging today. And that's going to provide them with a lot of comfort, feeling reassured, feeling deeply loved. So if you want to look even more deeply into your specific person with a personal reading, please check out the Love Message Cards personal readings. They're very in-depth video readings. And I look at all the different types of messages cards. I interpret all of the energies coming through from your person as we dive really deeply into their true feelings for you right now, what their higher self wants you to know, what their 3D self would say to you if they could, and what this person really desires to happen between you both so those are very in-depth personal video readings the details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment so if this reading has resonated with you please give it a thumbs up write a comment share and subscribe that all really helps me out thank you so much for joining me here i really do appreciate it take care bye 
Welcome to set of cards number four. You've chosen the crown ring. So this is your person's thoughts of you today and also how are they really feeling about you right now? Please take a moment to hit the like button and the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and that way you'll be notified every time I release a new reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, please check out the Love Message Cards personal readings. Those are very in-depth video readings and we look into lots of different messages cards. I interpret all of the energies that are coming through from your person as we dive deeply into looking at your person's true feelings for you right now, what their higher self wants you to know, what their 3D self would say to you if they could, and also what your person really wants to happen between you both. So those are very in-depth personal video readings. The details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So let's get straight into looking really deeply into your person's thoughts of you today and how are they really feeling about you right now. We're going to look look into lots of different messages, cards, a lot of information is going to come through. So their thoughts of you today, their feelings. We have let's get closer. Your person wants to feel this intimacy. I feel like they want to feel reassurance. They want to feel this bliss. I'm hearing from spirit, your person's so used to feeling so close to you that today they may be somewhat busy or surrounded by a lot of people or they're doing some sort of different routine. And um, it's making them feel somewhat disconnected. It looks like your person... It's like they can't wait to sort of get home or they can't wait to have like this alone time so that they can feel really close to you. Overall, they want to get close to you in your connection in general. They want it to continue developing and deepening. So I'm feeling all over the place. I should have just gone with my gut instinct at the bottom of the deck. Just then I saw I'm in my man or woman cave. So I am going to bring that out. I've got to look through them all to get to it. I had a, a split second decision. Do I take that card out or not? I decided not to. But then I feel like this I'm feeling all over the place card relates to what I was picking up. With I'm in my man or woman cave at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So what I heard from spirit was when I saw this is like your person is needing to sort of create some sort of barrier between themselves <laughs> and the world around them or the people around them or the routine or, you know, whatever's going on for them today, they're needing to go into their man or woman cave to feel closer to you. OK, this person may be an introvert. They're feeling kind of unsettled. They're kind of feeling off kilter with that I'm feeling all over the place. They they look to you for stability. They look to you for comfort, security, safety, feelings of love. They really feel held by this love, held by this connection. It's very divine. They feel held by the divine because they are feeling all over the place somewhat. So let's look deeper. What are they thinking and feeling? You take me to the infinite, okay? They want balance, they want harmony. You take them to that stability, you take them to that sh that truth, that light. It does offer stability in times where they're feeling all over the place. They feel faith uh, and truth in the infinite. You take them there, so they're really going inwards at some point today in order to feel that again. It's feeling all over the place. This roller coaster, in some cases, it could be like your person's doing a lot of like fun, like activities. Uh, or something in some cases. But it's like they're desiring like that stillness that they feel with you as well. So I need some reassurance right now, okay? So this mostly is like them feeling all over the place and needing some reassurance. Okay, so let's look deeper into what these anxieties 
and fears are about what do they need reassurance about right now why are they feeling all over the place convention wow your person's feeling stuck like slap bang in the middle of this convention look how it's like a prison this is making me think of like i've been watching a lot of period dramas about you know the different queens and the different like monarchs um in british history and it's making me think of like the tower of london uh you know where there's this everything's like normal on top of, on the surface but then deep down they're feeling in prison <sighs> like your, <laughs> your person's feeling all over the place but this is this offers a sense of security in a sense because look at all these thick walls they're feeling imprisoned in their life in certain ways but also it's providing a sense of security but they're feeling all over the place. Look, this is a thick walls as well, though, that I was picking up on. It's like your person feels subconsciously like they have to have, or it's just a pattern in their life of having these thick walls where they can sort of be their true self hidden away, okay? This is, this feels really sort of like sad, like um, your person's felt very lonely in their life. They may feel, because this looks like a child, okay? This is like their inner child. They didn't feel safe in this world because they're a highly sensitive, psychic individual because, you know, they're experiencing this twin flame connection. So they're very, they are like a mature soul. So they felt like too vulnerable in this world. So it's got you, there's this, it's just got, they've got so used to, sorry, um, their vulnerability being hidden beneath these thick walls of convention. This is like the outside self, the masks, how they are coming across in the social matrix. They're feeling stuck in that. But at the same time, it's like these thick walls provide like a barrier where they can go into their true self and be their true self, rejuvenate their energies. They feel this bond with you in this place of their true self within. But they're feeling all over the place, okay? This is feeling very heavy on them. These walls, this convention, feelings of imprisonment. So it could be something to do with their home life in some cases, with the house here. Let's look deeper into why they're feeling all over the place and why they need reassurance. We have influence. So to me, this is like convention. This is like social matrix influence. This could be like negative influence in their life with this snake here. So take that however that resonates. Patience and practicality. So I feel like practicality is kind of weighing them down. There's this patience though. Your person's very patient. Mm. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's this practicality. To me, this is basically saying... Uh, that with this being this roller coaster, and then there's the infinity symbol here, it's reminding me. Oh, it's at the bottom of the deck here. They have two of pentacles. This came out in one of the previous readings I just did. Um, this is like the emotional roller coaster feeling all over the place, but then they feel like there's all these things, practical things, and convention that they have to juggle. This is also like you take them to the infinite. It's like they're juggling all these 3D things because it's pentacles. That's like the earth plane. They're juggling a lot of convention, practicality, these roles that they're playing or feel like they have to be in their day-to-day -day life. But then it's surrounded by the infinite, the, your connection. You take me to the infinite. You take them to the higher dimensions, like their true self within. 
so they're feeling all over the place because they're like feeling caught between their 3D life and this their true self. Where they're feeling like their true self is come comes to life with you, like you 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 connect with each other on that true level, and that of, is obviously very healing, very profound, very special. They feel deep intimacy, but there's all the fears and there's all like the expectations upon them in the three D. So let's look at some more messages cards what they're thinking today what they're feeling um, I'm not going to take that one because that one was already turned over in the deck from the previous set of cards I pushed you away because I was scared the five of swords look this is really saying that your person in their heart and their soul and in their mind it's like they want to get close to you this is their heart and their soul's desire to be close to you but they pushed you away because they were scared. I feel stuck. It's like the inner child is frightened inside all of this convention, all these masks, these walls, these roles they're playing in their life. They didn't want to push you away. They wanted to get closer to you, but they just didn't know what to do. So they felt like they had to push them away. Yeah, look, I have to protect myself. The Nine of Wands and the, the man and the woman cave. And again, this is like the walls around them. I have to protect myself. But this is the wounded warrior. Your person's feeling very wounded. I feel like your person, they haven't known what to do because this connection suddenly come into their life. It's turned their world upside down. They're suddenly having all this awakening. They're suddenly feeling an even bigger disconnect from their true self and then their false self that they display in the 3D world subconsciously. Um, so they didn't know what to do. It's, it's, you know, turned everything upside down. They may have felt like there was some sort of time constraint for some of you. Um, and they just didn't know what to do. So they've gone into their walls. This could be them sort of hiding away because they need to protect themselves. They felt like everything was crumbling around them. You know, this is profound. This is like their beliefs about themselves, about life, about love and everything, about the world and reality. That's all come into question. It's all been turned upside down. And subconsciously, we we cling on to any sense of safety and security when that happens. Otherwise, it, we feel like we will die. We, we feel like we won't survive if we don't have something to hold on to. And so this person held on to what they already know. Some sort of convention where they felt kind of safe in a way. Um, that's the ego. This is all very subconscious. This isn't something to, in reality, be resentful towards your twin flame for because we all go through this and it's su such like subconscious deeply rooted conditioning from our whole life that it's certainly going to take a while to release to release it because your person and just like yourself at times won't even be aware of these fears like operating on a deep subconscious level like they won't be able to consciously understand what's going on or why they're feeling this way or why they're feeling like that or why these instincts of self-protection are coming in. What else are they thinking about today? I'm offering you something real. The Ace of Pentacles. They feel this is real love. This is true love. This is that infinite love. This is a love where they are being their true self. Maybe not like in the 3D, 
but on that deep infinite level the true level they are being their real true self And, you know, their sense of reality has most likely been all over the place. Look, we have the Hermit card going inwards again and figuring things out. Your person, they need more, like, time for healing. Most likely a lot of time. Um, discovering what's real, figuring things out. I'm offering you something real. They're like, what is real? What is an illusion? You know, that the false self believes in the social matrix. The true self knows that's an illusion. They're like, what is real? What is real for me? What's authentic for me? You know, all of these questions, everything been thrown into question and how scary that is. And then the ego feels very threatened and the ego wants to go back to like the normal pattern of the way things are. But yeah, look, I lay awake at night worrying about us. I want you so badly. So they're feeling heartbreak. They feel like they're missing you. They feel like there's a missed opportunity, perhaps, in a way. Um, they're worried that they've hurt you because they pushed you away because of fears. But again, it's like deep down they've always wanted to be closer to you. They want you so badly. They feel all this passion and this love. But they have all this anxiety. This is sleepless nights, nine of swords, anxieties, fears. And they think about you, especially at night, I feel. That may be where they have that alone time. When, you know, they're going just before they go to sleep. Especially but. They think about you, they connect with you, they feel close with you in the infinite when all these anxieties come up. They have all these desires. So let's look at some more cards. Their thoughts of you today. And their feelings. I am good enough. So I feel like this is definitely like a self-esteem thing as well. You know, the reason why your person and why all of us hide away from childhood is because of feeling like we're not good enough. Maybe we experienced or we will have experienced some sort of judgment, criticism, feeling like we're abandoned emotionally, maybe like physically in some cases, and then we internalize that as children and think we're not good enough, so then we hide away. We don't ever want to feel that pain again. We're, we're frightened. It feels like it could kill us sort of thing, subconsciously as children. So this is like a self-esteem thing as well, which is what these connections bring up, like self-worth um, blocks. I'm so happy. So when they're feeling really connected with you, I do feel like your person is going to go inwards today and feel the happiness. Feel the joy. You do make them feel so happy. You are like the sun in this person's life. light that warmth that truth that guiding light and they want to say thank you to you they're feeling so much gratitude towards you for coming into their life and offering them this true love this um infinite true like reality this awakening i feel you so yeah And at the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing I feel insecure again. Um, I feel you, okay? So they definitely connect with you energetically. They feel you with them. You feel They feel your energies. They feel that you are one. 
It's worth it. Okay, so let's clarify it's worth it. I'm in a dark place. So this is kind of like their fears are so great that it feels safer and it feels more worth it to sort of stay in the dark. Okay, sort of stay in this energy. Like sort of it's worth putting up with the darkness. Because that seems like the better option or the less scary option right now for your person. Than like facing the fears. Again, this is all like subconscious. So your person may not consciously know what, what to do. We do have my heart is opening at the bottom of the deck. I feel like over time your person's just going to become more aware, more sort of accustomed to this spiritual realm and the intuition and what their heart is guiding them and like having faith in themselves and their own inner guidance and all things like that. So there's thoughts of you today. flowing unity so infinity symbol again they their energy is flowing to you okay i'm hearing from spirit this is like their normal pattern in life this could be mirrored energy this is like the norm for them to feel so hidden away this may be why you came into union you came into alignment with each other your mirrors this person was feeling very lonely, deep within themselves. Their soul is crying out to be recognised. And then you came in and you recognise each other. And you're just so used to uniting like internally with each other. You have the, It's like your true selves are your internal world that's mostly hidden away from the outside world. And so because this is a connection of true love and truth, you're, you're connecting inwardly on that true level. So there's fears of being the true self in the outside world. And therefore, that's kind of manifesting as blocks like in the outside world. So you're forced to feel it from within. But there's also a divine plan about that. Because this connection is so liberating, it's so freeing, it's an unconditional love. That you're both diving into your person's diving into that the infinite it's helping them liberate themselves from this overall both of you so today that their their energy is flowing towards you and you're flowing together and there's this harmony there's telepathic communication you're, they're feeling on the same page as you High vibration, unity consciousness, consciousness, soul intimacy, and feelings of euphoria. I can't emphasize enough. Spirit is really just coming through and saying that this divine union, the way in which you connect so deeply, the way in which it has sort of happened in the 3d and and the 3d blocks and everything and how you connect so deeply on the internal level this is all just like so natural to you both in terms of your patterns you are both this so that's why it's shown up in your lives in this way A new lesson, um, starting a new lesson, refreshed, a new cycle, the next step, a new chapter, higher learning, intrigue, growth and ascension. So yeah, they, they, they're thinking about, they know that this connection is about lessons, soul lessons, it's about a brand new chapter, you came into their life, it's a brand new chapter, yeah, look at the bottom of the deck, you both felt alienated, 
both felt like these you had to have these thick, thick, thick walls around yourselves. And just connecting with the divine, like internally. And you are both from the divine. You recognize each other from the divine. So it's natural that you're connecting internally in the way that you always have, like with your soul family. Insane passion. So today they're feeling all this chemistry, powerful magnetism, desire, sexual union. Um, your energies are flowing into each other. There's this union of, in, in a tantric way of the divine masculine and feminine. Your person, they feel this intense obsession. All these fantasies, this euphoria, they feel intoxicated by this connection and this love. It's deeply fulfilling because it's touching them on that deep level. It's like you and your person at this time in your lives, you only truly feel safe to experience this amount of intimacy and closeness from a safe distance because you you don't really gen generally feel this level of intimacy in your day-to-day -day life. So you're unused to such high intimacy in the 3D feels safer, it feels more natural to you um, to align with that in the higher dimension, in a higher dimensional way. So if you want to look even deeply into your specific person with a personal reading, please check out the Love Message Cards personal readings. They're very in-depth video readings. We look into all the different cards, message cards that come through. I interpret all of the energies that come through from your person as we dive really deeply into their true feelings for you right now, what their higher self wants you to know, um, what their 3D self would say to you if they could, and what your person really wants to happen between you both so those are very in-depth personal video readings the details to book are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment and if this reading has resonated with you please give it a thumbs up write a comment share it and subscribe that all really helps me out thank you so much for joining me here i really do appreciate it take care bye